Hello friends, I'm Rob. This is part two of how I paint my Emperor's children and I'm going to show you how to paint the gold bits, how to paint the white bits and also how to fix the glossy purple armour after you mess up and spill other paint on it, which uh, you know happens sometimes. Let's go! Part one of the video covered how to do the purple armour and if you haven't seen that, I will put a, a link in the description down below. So go and check that out. So yeah, where we left the miniature uh, last time was at this stage. Advice that I should have given at the start of the previous video, I would recommend to paint the base before you start doing any of the purple and stuff. I would recommend kind of a nice dark brown base, kind of the Cadbury's chocolate combination. Nice purple and brown, good combination, works well together. So to start with, we're going to be using some lead belcher. And the lead belcher is going to be used for all of the pipes and uh, metal casing and most of the details on the figure. Be careful not to get any on the purple, but as I said at the start of the video, if you do mess up, very easy to fix your mistakes, so don't worry too much about it. Do this in silver as well. Who cares, man? Just pick out, just go nuts. Just do whatever you want. Who am I to tell you how to paint your models? Please like and subscribe. Should we do some gold? I'm using Retributor Armour because I've tried a whole heap of golds and most of them are awful. Like, holy hell, gold does not enjoy being smooth coat and miniature, you know? You know, you've tried it. If you haven't, bad news, friends, because gold paint sucks. Anyway, Retributor Armour is has got pretty good coverage. I like it. So instead of using all of the like lighter golds and all that kind of thing, what I do is I use Retributor Armour on everything, and then I just mix other things into Retributor Armour. And uh, that's how I get all my golds. So, you know, I just saved you watching the rest of that video, I guess. We're going to use uh, Model Air Dark Grey for the gun casing. So we've done the base colours on the silver and the casing and uh, the gold. So now we're going to hit the gold with a uh, Reekland Flesh Shade. And once that's done, which it is, we're going to do a nice uh, Null Oil over the metals. Next up we're going to use uh, Vallejo Model Colour Sky Grey. The trick to painting white is you actually paint light grey and then you give it a slight highlight with real white and it's a million times easier than painting white and giving yourself a headache. So yeah, white equals light grey. Looks alright doesn't it? Bit of a wash, bit of a highlight, jobs are good. Next up wash the grey with Nolan oil and we'll come back once that's done. I said we well, I'm gonna cut it you know you're just gonna sit there. And washes are done and as you can see the face of the marine I have tried not to go too heavy with the wash on the eyes because we're gonna be uh, putting some blue wash in there. So next step is gonna be highlighting the gold. We're taking Retributor armor and we're mixing it about 50-50 with Runefang Steel. Uh, any light silver will do. Let's do a pure Runefang Silver highlight on the uh, these bits. What are they? Exhaust pipes? Big old uh, Space Marine balls. 
Next up, we're going to grab a pure white. And we're going to use this to just highlight the face. Can I highlight the face in a way that shows on camera? All right, to finish off the face, we're going to take good old uh, contrast Elematic Blue. And we're going to use the contrast paint for the eyes. So just put some on your brush and a little bit of a dab on the old eye socket area and it should flow right in. It's got a bit of the old uh, crazy eyes going on. Looks all right though. So what I've done is I've taken the Eidolon Purple Clear uh, from the previous video and mixed it about 50-50 with some lead belcher. And that will give us a paint that we can use to tidy up any of the parts of the model that uh, we messed up and I say we, I messed up and covered in bits of colour what we don't want the colour to be on. Do some basing details and that is your miniature finished and by your miniature I mean my miniature. You have to paint your own miniatures. Unfortunately the magic of YouTube does not enable me to paint miniatures for you. Thanks for watching the video and I hope that inspires you to paint some Empress children of your own. Uh, if you would like me to do a painting tutorial on any other Space Marine Legions or Chaos Space Marine Legions or anything else, uh, leave me a comment and I'll see what I can do. Mm -hmm.